thing in the Philly Warriors. Today the topic is going to be shoulder mobility. Um, we all know many of us uh, lack uh, enough shoulder mobility to perform the most basic uh, weight lifting exercise or uh, any type of weight, I mean any type of weight bearing exercise that require you to uh, uh, hinge around your your shoulders. So. Uh, I'm going to show you three different exercises as usual that's going to facilitate the mobility around your shoulder capsule. Usually the lack of shoulder mobility is due to the tightness of the muscles around the, around the, the joint itself and today I'm going to be focusing on releasing the tightness around the scapula, you know. So one of the first exercises is going to be uh, I mean, uh, revolving around the, the the thoracic spine. You know, we're gonna learn how to smash uh, the musculature around the thoracic spine. The second exercise is going to be targeting the rotator cuff itself, smashing with some uh, with some cross ball. And the third exercise is going to be uh, involving a resistance band, which we're gonna be using to. Uh, perform uh, a super front rack. So with that being said, uh, let's get started. Okay, the first drill we're going to be using is called the thoracic spine roll and smash and uh, we're going to be using, we're going to be needing a foam roller or any type of uh, cylindric uh, rolling material that you can have at your disposal and usually people will lay on the on the spine and aimlessly roll up and down which is fine but what we're gonna do is not be more specific we're gonna be aiming the thoracic region which may be between the diaphragm and the and the, and the neck so right here uh, instead of just rolling the goal is to pull your both side of your shoulders and then kind of uh, putting the scapula in a protracted uh, position meaning I want you to pull here this is depression protraction so depression protraction so I want you to pull the, the shoulders and kind of taking out the slack out of your your meat your, the thoracic is fine so take all the loose little small uh the soft tissue out of the middle and then lay it lay lay on your back and after you lay on your back you can extend the uh, so the extension being done now you can start rolling while you still have the slack taken out from the middle of your spine uh, make sure you take time to roll and remember you want to always have the slack pulled don't let your shoulder bleed to drop in and then from there once you reach a tight spot you want to side to side rack it side to side so i would say to make sure that you kind of hit uh, all the vertebrae you want to go every second of rolling stop rock side side any second right there side side every second rolling side side and then coming back down slowly, side and side. After you've done that for like a minute and a half or two minutes, I want you to do the same thing. Still having take the slack taken, extend, make sure your butt is still on the floor, squeeze your butt to kind of keep the, the spine, uh, the lumbar spine as uh, neutral as possible. And then slide 
on the side. Having a slide on the side, you can roll up and down. You can put it here. So slide taken, extension, roll down, side, and side, side, and side. On the roll on the other side as well. Side and side. When you reach a tight spot, I want you to squeeze your legs up and down. Squeeze your legs up and down. Side and side. So that will be the three version. You have the the up and down. You have the side to side rocking. And uh, after you're done, you can focus on each side and roll up and down. And uh, Whenever you want to apply more pressure, uh, apply more pressure on your deep tissue, you can raise your heel, I mean your, your butt off the floor to apply more force on those tissue. Make sure that you squeeze your butt though, so that you don't end up in the overextended lumbar spine, which means the bottom of your spine. So squeeze your butt, keep it as neutral as possible, and remember to take the slack out of your shoulder shoulder blade to release the tough soft tissue between the spine right there so that will be the first exercise we should be making sure that you smash all the uh, the tight the tight point around the vertebrae around the shoulder the shoulder blade the scapula and everything the whole complex and I'm gonna show you next uh, the second exercise which will be targeting the rotator cuff complex the next exercise is going to be aimed at targeting the rotator cuff right here. So it's going to be in between the lats and the, and the delts. You're going to be putting the, uh, you're going to be putting the, the lacrosse ball. The way we go about it is putting that ball there. Let me go far enough. Here. All right. Put it right in the spot. And then lean a little sideways to apply some pressure in your, I mean, in the deep, in the deep, uh, the deep side of your, your rotator, your rotator complex. And then now you're gonna flex your elbow and put it on the floor, and then kind of rock up and down. Uh, up and down, up and down. You can lean, shift your your weight a little more on the left side or the side uh, uh, on which you work in the rotator cuff, and up and down, up and down. Up and down, up and down. Feel free to flex the real delt area as well. And once flexed, you can kind of roll around the area while you're going up and down. Roll around the area and move up and down. Up and down. So, go a little more. Remember here, the material cuff area. Up, shift on the little bit on the side. Put some the, the most weight that you can in that area, and then drop down and up, down and up down and up, while well, shift a little, roll around, roll around, up, down, up, down, flex, and smash, smash, keep smashing, you want to break down as much, as deep as possible in those little muscles, <laughs> I was going to say that. Yeah, so that's 
the second exercise, which will be targeting the rotator cuff. This one is a great one because a lot of time people when pinch shoulders have like shoulder pain and all it will take is uh, addressing the rotator cuff, trying to smash those muscles and uh, release them and you will see a big difference in your daily life and uh, your performance. The next is gonna be the next exercise we're gonna be addressing is gonna be the super uh, front rack, and that will be in the next section. Uh, we are in the third and last exercise uh, and drill we're gonna be doing uh, to help increase the shoulder mobility is going to be the super front rack. What we're gonna need here is an elastic resistance band. First, we're gonna make sure that. We hook our wrist on the rubber band right here, grab it and shift it around and come down in this position. Once we come down in this position, we're gonna make sure that we get a little, we bend slightly our, our knee, squeeze your glutes to stabilize the pelvis, tighten your abs, get both done to avoid your back to fall into hyperextension and kind of compensate for the job we try to do on your, on your shoulder. So once you tighten everything, make sure that you let the band pull your, your, your elbow up, your arms facing, facing up as well, create some external rotation here, and to kind of help with the bass to keep your shoulder from flying away, you want to use your right arm and kind of hold here while you forcing your shoulder into some external rotation and keep it tight. So you want to go about it for 30 seconds at a time and release it, loosen it up a little and then go back again. So remember you want to make sure that your shoulders Create some external rotation and to keep your shoulder from falling, you want to have your right arm kind of holding onto the elbow to prevent from flying, but still constantly uh, create some external rotation to the shoulder. It's going to be slightly uh, painful depending on how much stretch or how much slack you have in the rubber, I mean, in the, in the resistance band. Okay, so I'm gonna break it down again. Uh, maybe change your camera view or just facing forward to give you guys an idea. I'm gonna come down here. So at the end of the motion, you will have your elbow facing forward and up. And then what you wanna do is create some external rotation in your shoulder. And to prevent your shoulder from flying away, you're gonna hold right here, right? You're gonna hold the, uh, the elbow and then still pressing outward, creating some external rotation in the, in the shoulder while you have the band pulling down, I mean, uh, on, the, uh, on, your, on your arm, thus in your, in your shoulder. And in the process, freeing up the slack into your into your I mean into your shoulder and if you had done the the smashing of the of the T spine uh, with a foam roller before this exercise you see how both can end up being complementary you loosen up you have loosened up all the tight tightness around the scapula and then you have the you know the the little lacrosse ball Smashing the, the rotator cuff, increasing some more, you know, uh, release of, uh, of the tightness. And then you have the front rack, the super front rack now that you add to your arsenal to create, I mean, to free up the, the, the shoulder capsule overall. So try to incorporate those three exercises. Try this exercise preferably uh, in the same order. T spine uh, smash, uh, rotator cuff smash, and then you end up you finish up with the uh, with the super front rack. Uh, try to remain uh, steady and consistent on those for about 
six weeks, I'll say, and let me know how you feel in the, uh, in, uh, in, the, in the process, uh, at the end of the process. End of process being just temporary, uh, temporary uh, short-term goals, because mobility is something you're gonna have to be working for the rest of your life. And uh, just make it a habit, and uh, I promise, follow those three, your shoulder health and uh, performance is going to tremendously in, uh, increase. On this note, I'm going to let you guys go. I hope it was uh, useful. And uh, drop in the comments uh, if you have concerns about what we talked about today and uh, points that weren't clear. Uh, I'll see you guys on the next video. Everything is and will always be. Beast mode, the mechanical way. Salute. <laughs>